Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 15, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500 or the SPX here on Ether. And as you can see, we continue to rally. We did break down quite significantly significantly on Friday and then rally. And now we have this hammer here, which is a very, very uh, bullish candlestick. So technical indicators, they are looking fairly nice. We have crossed the MACD here in the, uh, or the MACD has crossed the signal line, which is a bullish indication. We have stochastic, which is bullish. The CCI that is just at underneath 100 and it comes above 100, it becomes really bullish. And we also have a lot of room to the upside here in the RSI. So 4,000 is the target. Um, we will most likely run into quite a lot of resistance here at 3,900 and and uh, 85 but 4000 is the target here and when we hit that we most likely will have a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band before going significantly higher we could also um, explode to the upside and go towards 4500 but uh, but that is to be seen most likely when we get to the top of the bullish band as you can see here we have these pullbacks so it gets we have been on a major rally here in the last um, last week and a half and therefore it is also fairly likely that we'll have a pullback before we go higher so let's look at the dow jones so the dow jones is just um, waiting at the moment to basically have a pullback so we are significantly outside of the bullish band here we can see the last time we were right here we fell from roughly 31,264 all the way down towards 29,724. Same goes for here. When we are outside, we fell from, give or take, 29,180 all the way down towards uh, 26,500. So, so it can become fairly volatile uh, if, when it basically gets overstretched like this. And we are significantly overstretched at this point. Buying at this stage is uh, it is uh, really risky, so uh, just pay attention to that. Technical indicators uh, overall are fairly bullish. MACD is very bullish. The stochastic is bullish. The CC, the RSI is bullish, and we are sixty eight, so we're on the edge of being uh, on the edge of being uh, overbought. CCI is turning around, but we are at two hundred and twenty eight, which is very bullish at this current stage. Underneath the hundred and below, uh, so on. Well, yes, we will. I'll be surprised if we don't see a pullback sometimes next week. So let's look at the Nasdaq. And as you can see, we have had this massive fall in Nasdaq from 30, uh, 13,900 all the way down to 12,200, give or take. And now we have rallied. But the question is whether or not we manage uh, to break above the middle middle of the bullish band here and the 50 moving average. So the last time we had this rally, it was a ma minor rally here up towards the 20 exponential. And then we broke down really towards the 112,200 uh, level. And now we have had this rally last week and um, we did not. We just settled underneath the 20 exponential. So... Um, it is not a very bullish shine. If we break down from here, then we'll most likely go and retest these previous lows. And if that breaks, we'll go all the way down to the 200 moving average at 11,824. Technically, indicators, they are fairly mixed. The RSI is flat. The CCI is flat. The stochastic is uh, bullish at this point. And it looks like the MACD is about to cross the signal line. But we are at minus 120. Uh, six at this point we're trying we trend we're in a downtrend and uh, we're basically just rallying in the downtrend so when or not we won't basically turn back into a uptrend before we get above um, above zero so at this point it is unclear whether or not we manage to rally above the 50 moving average if we do then we'll continue this trend here if we break down from here, then we can go all the way down to 12,200 and then all the way down to the 200 moving average. So let's look at the German DAX. 
And as you can see, we have had a massive rally here from give or take uh, 13,900 and we are right at the moment at 13,561. We did break down on Friday and then rallied again. And this is a very uh, uh, bullish candlestick. However, technical indicators, they are more flat at this point. The RSI is at 70, so on the edge of being overbought. The CCI is becoming bearish. The stochastic is becoming bearish. And the MACD is bullish at this point. So I would not be surprised if we had a pullback towards the 20 or the middle of the bullish band around the 14,100 before going higher. It's also usually when it gets outside of the bullish band, it tends to break really fast to the downside. For example, here, we went all the way down here. We went all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band. Also here, fell, and so on and so on. You can just look at the past time series for, for this price action. You can see that uh, nearly every single time we get significantly outside of the upper Bollinger Band, we tend to break um, to the downside and also vice versa. When we're outside at the bottom, it tends to break to the upside. So let's look at the UK 100. So this was uh, had a really not good day on Friday. We rallied from give or take uh, 6,700 all the way up to 6,792. So all technical indicators at this point are bullish, but we are on the edge of the bullish band. So also here, we can get outside like we did here and then fall significantly or get close to the top of the bullish band and then fall all the way to the bottom. But it looks like we are creating an uptrend here. It is very volatile. It um, so so buying in it at when it's this close to the top of the bullish band is very risky. Uh, probably the least uh, 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 risky thing to do here is basically wait until it basically falls back towards the bottom or the middle of the bullish band in order to buy into this. Otherwise, yes. Hope you found this helpful. Welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.